Looking into mackerel for our lunch today. And Richard Stern from Susie Street in Dublin City Centre has stayed with us. Give us a quick recap, Richard, on what we did earlier. Okay, on. so earlier on we made the beetroot, horseradish, creme fraiche, and uh, Dijon mustard uh, kind of relish, of it, so so to say. Which is delicious. Which is, as you can see now, the the colour from the beetroot has come through and it's got a really nice uh, ruby kind of colour to the to the salad now. Yeah. So that's there, ready to go. Like I said, it's best to make it up the day before, uh, so it's ready to go for for your party or whenever. Okay. It's just. Nice and simple. Now the main event. So, we're going to start off with the mackerel. Uh, we've got here some rapeseed oil. Now, I've chosen rapeseed oil because a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it's really high in omega-3, um, low in cholesterol, and plus it's got a lower, sorry, a higher smoking point. Oh, so if the pan gets too hot, it's, it, it lasts okay. a bit longer. Yeah. So I like cooking with nice... rapeseed oil. I like cooking with coconut oil too, but then coconut you do oil, that yeah. kind of coconut flavour from everything. That's all I use now is rapeseed oil. It's gorgeous. Really? Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. olive oil anymore? No. No rapes either. It's only way it's the future, Laura. It's the future. future, isn't yeah. it? You'll make millions <laughs> off that idea. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, just getting the pan to a kind of a medium, medium to hot heat. Not okay. too high, not too low. If it's too high, it's just going to burn okay. the mackerel straight okay. away. So with the mackerel, we're also going to add the uh, pea shoot and apple salad. Now, I understand pea shoots aren't easy to get hold of, so mm -hmm. if you can't get hold of them, then rocket or watercress is just as good. Okay. Lovely. But you will find pea shoots in selected stores. Beautiful. Okay. I do love rockets, put on everything. Do you? Yeah, and sriracha, since I tasted it here a few months ago. Yeah, you love your own sriracha, don't you? I do. Huh? So yeah. pea shoot and apple would never Pea shoot and apple. Pea shoot and apple. Apple goes extremely well with any particular fish. Okay. Uh, very much like fennel would do as well. Really? Yeah, so the, I've got the pan is... Yeah, fennel's yeah. great with fish. Fennel and fish, yeah, it's if fantastic. You can, if you, if it's actually stuff a fish with fennel and dill, it's beautiful, isn't it? Indeed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Sorry. these will, will you get your fish monger to prep the fillets like yes, this? Yes, absolutely. For you? Um, <clears> the <throat> problem that you mainly have with a mackerel is the fact that uh, there's quite a lot of pin, a lot of uh, small bones in it, mm. and the fish monger will do that for you if okay. you ask. If you ask nicely. Yeah, see, that's where I went wrong. I just got handed these two wet fish. Right. Well, do I wouldn't be worried if they were dry. <laughs> yeah. well, they're a bit dry. Some, did you They've been out for a while. Did you take the bones out? No. Right, so there's problem number one with the fish. You left the bones in. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the are, experts so cooking the fish. <laughs> <laughs> so you're popping them on with the skin yeah, side skin down side first. down. Like I said, not too high, not too low. It's going to season the, the fish up with salt. And are we waiting for the pepper. actual <clears throat> flesh to change colour? To yeah, get... the flesh will go a nice golden colour. Lovely. Um, like I said, it's very simple. It only takes, like, three or four minutes, if that, to cook one side. 90% yeah. of cooking fish, any fish, is skin side down first. So 90% you cook skin side down, and, and then the 10% fish up, fish it up okay. uh, turn it over. Oh, okay. And just like meat as well, it's it's ideal to let it rest before you serve. Before you serve. Yeah. And why would you do that? It kind of relaxes. Um, it relaxes the fish. It relaxes okay. the, the single muscle that it is. Keeps it moist too, doesn't it? Let's yeah, all indeed, those juices yeah, go yeah. back into the flesh, so yeah. it's not dry. You think it's been hit that pan at a high heat? It's yeah. Of it's tricked it a little it bit. Needs yeah. to relax. Oh, we'll give it a massage, will we? Look at the change of colour, look. Yeah, the mackerel's just coming along nicely there. So I we're just never gonna... need to leave fish for, to, to rest. rest. Same as me, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. It's because it's the same process as Richard said. Once it hits that pan, it tenses up, it needs to. Yeah. I do like my food hot, though. He knows his stuff. If he, he really actually does. But it will be, it will be um, hot, it won't go cold. You know, if you let it rest, yeah. you're not... You're, they say is that you let it rest similar time, cooking time, or just 50% uh, of the With fish, I'll say a little bit less because, yeah. like you said, it, it will go cold pretty quick. Yeah. Um, there's no harm in just giving that a last flash again if you wanted to reheat it. OK, oh, no, that's good that. to know. Right, so OK, apples. so the apple and pea shoot <clears throat> salad. Uh, I've got a Granny Smith apple here. Any apple is, is fine. I just find the Granny Smith has more of a acidity to it than mm. most apples. Lovely colour as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to peel it, no need. Just going to slice it up nice and fine. A chiffonade. My chiffonade, kids are apple mad, they so. Are they? Yeah, they won't eat much fruit now, but apples are Oh, well, listen, get them into them, yeah. Pink ladies. Oh, you can't beat the pink mm. ladies. Lovely. So you're just so slicing that very just easy. Just slicing the apple. That's it. it now, all I'm going to dress this with is a beautiful uh, olive oil. Mm. That looks like a very good olive oil. It is very good olive oil. It's always best, if you can, buy the best ingredients you possibly can <clears> get hold of. Yeah. That's the secret to... Any style of food, what are you doing? It's just the best you can possibly get and don't mess around with it too much. So just a beautiful olive oil and a nice squeeze of lemon juice. And, of course, that brings in the colour as well because we have our ruby beetroot exactly, yeah. relish yeah. here. So I'm just going to check the mackerel now. 
You can actually see it's probably too much. Yeah, it's there. You happy? Just, yeah, we're just about there on that. And you don't want any red left in the fish. It has well, to be see, completely. The thing people don't understand with fish because this is so fresh. Yeah. You can undercook it a little bit. I say undercook. It's not undercook. It's kind of you don't want to overcook it. Mm. It just goes dry and horrible. But there's no harm in having it just that little bit undercooked, and you get a better texture and a better flavour. The full. Do you know, I'm you glad you said raw. that because you last weekend we were chatting about the ma um, the shark thing. Do you remember we were talking about Bear Grylls, Bear v Shark yes, in the TV yeah, preview yeah. with Killian? And I watched it that night, and when he got out of the water, he had caught some fish, and he said, yeah. there's nothing better in the world than fresh, fresh. fish, and he literally yeah. ripped it apart, yeah, ripped it apart yeah, and started yeah. eating it. That's sushi, baby. <laughs> yeah, but it was so raw and yeah. organic. Yeah. Right there. Right there. In his wet, yeah, yeah, in his wet seat. Ripped it apart and everything. I prefer someone who knows they're doing to slice it up for me. <laughs> I like sushi. Like then. this man. Like this guy. <laughs> yeah. So it's okay then, is what you're okay. saying. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There's no harm in that whatsoever. Okay. So well, we'll get ready to turn plate this up, down. Please. So we're going to plate up the uh, the bootroot relish first. I mean, you find a ring if you want to. There's no no need. You just looks a bit more posh and a bit more fancy. Oh, bit chefy. Oh, we like chefy. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. We reek posh on this show. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> so you see the mackerel is nearly there, it's going to turn it over. Beautiful. And that's it. And do you serve this on the side then? The this is going to go on top of the on top oh, of here. Nice. So there's your, your ring there. Nice. Yeah, I love all these little secret these tricks. These little chefy tricks. That's to throw it all on together. There you go. Yeah, yeah and you have even <laughs> pin bonus. So no wonder they didn't need it last yeah. week at home. And they did even, that's what I was worried about afterwards. Nobody was choking on a fish bowl, no. Well, a few bits <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. Okay, so that mackerel's there now. It's going to finish it off with a little bit of uh, bit of lemon juice. Nice. Again, make sure the pan's not too hot when you add the lemon juice because it kind of burns it really quick. The lemon burns oh, better. really quickly. Yeah. And we'll yeah. plate up now if that's okay. I'd yeah. love to get a taste of it. There you that. go. Thank you, Thanks, Emil Richard. So do you just leave it as whole then? Yeah. Okay, with the That's it, just up. like that. And then we'll put a little bit of salad on top. Wow, thanks so much. Textures, flavours. And obviously today's recipe is on our website. And you can call into Richard in Susie Street as well to sample everything for yourself. I'm sure you'd Tell love to see them. Tell them we sent you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget uh, that Hotel Transylvania 3, a monster vacations in cinema this weekend. Keep your eyes peeled for some of the cast who'll be popping up throughout today's show. Uh, when you see any of your favourite characters, just text HOTEL to 57199 for your chance to win a Sony Xperia L2 mobile phone and text cost €1 Euro with two texts required per entry. Thanks yeah, so we'll much, Richard. Thank you. We'll take Pleasure. a quick break while we talk in. See you in a few minutes.